the victory. It's in the name of Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. Satan will have. He must flee. Stand be for us when we call on that great name. His name is Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. We have the view. Glory. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan. Anybody told Satan? I told Satan. Like you're victorious in this place. Come on, tell the devil to get behind. As long as we got Jesus, we don't need nobody else. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. The song says, For the rest of my life, I'll serve the Lord. Is that your testimony? Let's do it.
this morning I'm going to read uh, a Psalms I'm gonna read actually Psalms read from Psalms 27 I'm gonna read verse 1 then skip down to verse 11 you know Psalms are written by by David and you know in his lifetime um, he faced many challenges and a lot of times in his life he had to really search for the Lord and the only thing he wanted to do was was please God, even though he may have been under uh, under duress. So Psalms 27 says, The Lord is the light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Verse 11 says, Teach me, teach me your ways. Lord, lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the, to the desires of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me and spout malicious accusations. I remain confident of this, 
I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. May we bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come today just to say thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for another day. A day which we've never seen before, and a day that you've created, O oh God. And we're thankful for it, O oh God. Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, that you would just come into this house, into your house, O oh Lord, and may your presence be felt to each and every one of us, O oh God. Lord, we ask that you would uh, touch our hearts, O oh God. Lord, we also ask, O oh God, that your spirit would, would just rest and abide in this place, O oh Lord. We pray, O oh God, for the man of God that will deliver the word, Lord. And we pray that it will touch our hearts so that we be can become the people that you would have us to be, O oh God. Lord, we constantly seek your face, O oh God. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would just be true in our lives, Lord. This is our prayer, and it's in your son, Jesus' name, that we do pray. Amen.
God a hand clap of praise this morning. Amen. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And for all of those that are sharing with us the good news of Jesus Christ on this Sunday morning, as we come to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, we salute you, those who are watching us by way of Facebook Live and YouTube. We salute you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and under the leadership of Pastor Myron Donald and to all of the officers here at the Greater Lord Street Baptist Church, it's a blessing to be in the Lord's house one more time. Amen. Praise God to all of the guests this morning. If we have guests this morning, we want you to stand. And I've been informed that we have Sister Vanessa Boykin, who is the co-worker of Sister Patricia Twitty. Amen. So we're so honored to have, have her. And I'm always honored to have my mother-in-law to share with us. Amen. Praise God. And we're so glad this morning to see my classmate to come home to be with us, Brother Michael. Amen. Michael Giles. Amen. Come on, Mike. Amen. They already know him, so amen. Ain't no sense in him standing. He's at home. Amen. So glad to see Brother Mike. Amen. To come. He gave us his word that he would come. And to all of our guests again on this Sunday morning, we pray that something will be said today that will bless you and it will bless you real good. In the bag that you were given this morning, it's uh, different little tokens there. And inside of the bag is a mustard seed. And so the Bible teaches us that if we were to sow that mustard seed, it said that even though it's the smallest seed that God created, yet it produces the biggest fruit. And so we want you to plant that seed and watch God work on your behalf, amen. Is God all right in the house this morning? Amen. Amen. Come on and give God another shout praise in the house this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord from whom all blessings flow. Amen. God is still in control, and he is worthy to be praised. To my co-laborer, Pastor Earl Watson, it's just a blessing to have men of God to share in the word of God with you on Sunday morning. Amen. Come on and stand to your feet. We don't have long this morning. Amen. Come on, those of you that's well able and that you can stand and God give you two good legs. Come on and stand to your feet. Amen. Come on and, and share with Sister Patricia Twitty. Is that right? All right. And Sister Vanessa Boykin. Come on and, and just tell them, glad to see you this morning. Come on. Just Amen. Praise God. Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you so easy. Loves the love that's in you. 
of God. Amen. It's just good to be able to move around. Amen. Amen. If you can move around, you are blessed. And this may be our last time. But if it is, we want to make sure it's our best time. And so we thank God this morning for just letting us have the activity to be able to put our eyes on somebody else. Praise God. Give God another hand clap. Our announcements this morning before we take up our tithes and offering because these are important announcements that need to be made. Those announcements probably I will show on the screen, but we do have some added announcements that was given to me this morning that need to go forth. Uh, we want to thank God for a praise report on Mrs. Joanne Ballard, the Neighborhood Christian Center. She has been released from the hospital. And no more dialysis that she have to take. Isn't that good news? Praise God. That's good news. Amen. Good news. Hallelujah. Amen. Bingo sign-up sheet. In the bullet, on the bulletin board in the lobby. If you are interested, please sign up for that. Amen. God is restoring Greater Lewis Street Baptist Church. If you are interested in playing bingo one day a week, I believe we'll let you know further. Uh, if you were interested in, in coming out and having bingo, come on and sign the sign-in sheet. It's been up on the board for a while, and, and, and only a few names are on it. Amen. And so we want to give you an opportunity to come out one day a week and play bingo. You'll be glad that you did. Sunday school drive cannot seem to put enough emphasis on it. For those who are not a participant in Sunday school, Sunday school start every Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. If you would have been in Sunday school this morning, you would have been truly blessed. Sister Cheryl Bobo laid it out on the line for us. And the Lord moved in Sunday school this morning. Come on, Great Lord Street. I said the Lord moved in Sunday school this morning. And for those that wasn't here, you missed a treat of your life. And so we just want to thank God for the hand of God being in Sunday school. Amen? Youth team support. This is the, those who are on the youth teams, the support. Please meet immediately after service on the fourth Sunday. Amen. Those who are on the youth support team, uh, meeting on the fourth Sunday right after morning service. Greater Lewis Street, get ready. As T.D. Jakes would say, get ready, get ready, get ready. Church revival, one night revival that's coming in the month of May. Just one night. Praise the Lord. Date and time will be announced. Anybody in the house this morning? If there ever was a time that the church needed a revival, now is the time. We need all of our musicians. I wish I, I wish the musicians would hear me. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Pastor Donald is all in support of this. We need all of the musicians to be in the house. We're going to give you ample amount of time to make preparations to be in the house. We need all the officers of the church to be in the house. We need all of the ushers. We need all of the choir members to be in the house. Am I helping somebody? Amen. You don't invite somebody to your house and you're not at home. Come on, y'all, say amen. Hallelujah. We need all the preachers to be in the house. Amen. So we will let you know beginning next Sunday. We need all, I can't seem to stress it enough. We need everybody in the house. One night revival. And we can't do three nights right now because we got to see how one night going to work. 
Praise God. So we're giving you ample amount of time. If there's anybody in your house that's unsaved, now is the time to bring them to Greater Lewis Street Baptist Church. We have a great speaker. We're just waiting on the, the, his, his schedule to uh, be fit with ours. And we are going to do it in the month of May. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we're looking forward to you to come out. Amen. We can't keep talking about the pandemic. The pandemic ain't going to bother us. Because we got, the, the Lord said that we got power over the devil. And God is not going to let anything happen to us. Amen. Praise God. Those that will share with us in Bible class on Wednesday night, men, don't forget, conference call tonight. The number and the access code is on the prayer list, on, on, the, on our bulletin. So come on and be a part of us on tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. We'd be over the phone, and we'd be having a good time. The brothers, amen. Some, I would love to hear for you to come in and just chime in. If you can't stay but two minutes, come on and get on board with us, and you will see how God is blessing each and every one of us. We piggyback off of each other and learn how to live according to the way God would have us to live. Amen. Wednesday yeah. night, the book of Habakkuk. We are still in the series on the 12 minor prophets, and so we're wanting God to do that. For those of us this morning that have our tithes and offering, if you have your tithes and offering this morning, and I want to personally thank, this goes out to everybody that donated canned goods for the Memphis Union Mission, especially thanks to Brother Cedric Harwell and Brother Charles Dickerson that came out in the rain on Thursday to transport those canned goods to the Union Mission. And I mean, we, 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 had a, we had a whole lot of canned goods to go to help feed somebody here in Memphis, Tennessee. And so our hats goes off to them. On April the 27th, on April the 27th, at 10 o'clock a.m., the church need plenty of volunteers to clean up. Amen. They did a walkthrough cleanup yesterday, seeing what need to be moved out. And so the church is doing that on the 27th at 10 o'clock p.m. We're asking men that got trucks, those that have trucks, that come on down so that we can haul these items off to, to Goodwill. Amen. And so we will let you know it will run on the bulletin next week. But on April, if you can't donate but an hour or two, what have you, but want to do right by the church. Amen. Praise God. Those of you that have your tithes and offering this morning, if you have your tithes and offering, come on, and brother officers, as we get ready to take up our tithes and offering. Tithing is a part of the worship experience. The Bible teaches us, don't come before God empty-handed. And God love a cheerful giver. You can't beat him no matter how you try. The Bible said that he will open up windows of heaven and pour us out blessings that we don't even have room enough to receive. So as the officers pass around this morning, come on in and let's pay our tithes this morning. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must see. For the devil is defeated. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. And poverty must cease For the devil is defeated We are blessed We're blessed in the field We're blessed in the field We're blessed Amen. when Praise we God. come Amen, let us pray Eternal God our Father, we thank you this morning for those that gave and those that had a desire to give but may not have had, we pray, God, that you would take our tithes and offering and bless it as only you can. In Jesus' name, and the people of God said, amen. 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 Praise God. Those of you that desire prayer, as we get ready to petition the throne of grace, there are several names on our prayer list this morning. 
glory to God. Amen. And this is the only time that we come to church on Sunday. And we're all on one accord. We petition the throne of grace. And our request is made by faith through humility. We learned that this morning in Sunday school. And as I call off the name, those of you that would come in these people's stead, and I know that when I call those names off, the Holy Ghost get, has already instructed my spirit that someone is going to come and stand in these stairs for these people. We're praying for Tomasa Minor and Michael Minor. Glory to God. We're praying for Odell Norfleet. Hallelujah. You don't have to know these people to stand. Just come on and stand. Walter Porter. Miss Effie Williams. Brother Rodney Blesso. Charles and I went to see him in the hospital the other day. And Rodney need our prayers. Reverend James Boyce. Quinn Ayers. It's a family member of Sister Lamarlo Anderson. Brother Eric Dotson. He's the cousin of Sister Shell and Brother Cedric Harwell. Dorian and Leonard Tate, my niece and nephew. Daryl and Valerie Page, that's my brother and sister. The family of Tina Dickerson in bereavement, but members of Sister Dolores Kirk family. Sister Jean Watson, the wife of Pastor Earl Watson. The family of Linda Austin. And we're praying for the Greater Lord Street Baptist Church. Amen. Come on. Marquez. My soul loves Jesus. This really is the only time that you can really My pour your heart out to Jesus Christ. Loves Jesus. Now you came to church today. My soul. And you didn't come to, to look at one of us. Jesus. You came to get a word from the Lord. Bless you his came name. to get something from God. Yes. My this soul. is a time now Love that if I want Jesus. to empty out my spirit. I'm in the right place and I'm here Love at the right time. Jesus. I called off several names this morning and your name could have been on the prayer list. Oh, Ain't because we've been good. Oh, bless. Hasn't been because we yes. kept all the commandments. We just need God to smile on us. I need I'm praying a special prayer for my brother-in-law, Michael, this morning. You see, I don't know how God is going to move me. But I watched him the other day. And the Lord said, pray for him. Y'all in the house. The Lord said, pray for him. Nephew on the road, to brother and sister in law flying in the air. And the Lord said, Pray for him. I need. And so when I come to church on Sunday morning, I'm filled up and I just want the Lord to use me. I wish I had some folk here at Greater Lewis Street this morning that could holler in this place. Lord, I need you. I, need I can't hear y'all. I need somebody to holler. Lord, I need you. Oh, bless. I 
I'm a wretch undone. I messed up, God. I need you to help me, God. Got family members on the road. Got family members that's sick. And Lord, we need you right now. Jesus. Got children in school. Jesus. Got bills that we got to pay. Hallelujah. Got sickness in our bodies. And Lord, we need you right now. Jesus. We got bills, God, that came from out of nowhere. Jesus. Ain't got much money in the bank. Jesus, I need But Lord, you, Lord. you said that you were a way maker. And I you can make you, a way Lord. out of no way. And that's why we are I feeling before you, you this morning, God. Lord God, we thank you this morning. I need you, Lord. We thank you for these names on the prayer list. Oh God, I need you, Touch Lord. Touch as best as you can, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heal them where they're broken I now. Need you, Lord. Prop them up on every leaning Hallelujah. side. For some particular reason, they Hallelujah. may not hear us. But God, I know that they can hear you. Hallelujah. Let this prayer go forward today. Let them change the way that they're Hallelujah. doing, God. Let them change their mind, God. Oh. Help them to get better, God, in the mighty name Hallelujah. of Jesus. People have lost their loved ones. Hallelujah. And God, we need a word from you today. Hallelujah. As we touch and agree around this altar. Lord God, you can do it now. We've been out of church for a little while. We've been trying to do it on our own. But thanks, God, that you got my mind ready to come back to you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for Cheryl this morning. Thank you, Lord. Sharing her testimony this morning. Thank you, Lord. And when she didn't know what else to do, God, she got in the bed with her mama, God and backed her back up to her mama's back to give her mama some support. God, we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord. You're awesome, God. You're awesome. You're a bad God. Whoa. You can do anything, God. Anything, God. We plead the blood of your people around the altar. Anything, God. Touch Pastor Donald in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything. Touch Pastor Watson, God. Bind up everything that the enemy is trying to do. Thank you for these musicians this morning. Build them up where they're torn down. Bridge the gap right now, God. In the name of you told us to pray about everything. Let them work together, God, for the movement of this church. We're not talking about what used to be. We're thanking you for what it is right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. We bind the devil under our feet. No weapon formed against them. No weapon formed against this choir. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them sing the adulterated songs you designed for them to sing. We bind the enemy over the choir. We bind the enemy over the musicians. We bind the enemy over the congregation. We bind the enemy over the pulpit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heal them, deliver, set free in the house. In the name of Jesus. Touch right now, God. We thank you with our mouths this morning. We lift our hands over the sanctuary because by your stripes we are healed, God. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ in Greater Lewis Street Sanctuary. We shout glory to your high name. Thank you for the Dickerson family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, bless all of those under the sound of my weak voice. And when it's all over down here, God, and we can't study war no more, we ask now in the precious name of Jesus Christ that you would receive us in your kingdom. For Christ's sake, in the hearts of the people, shout amen. Somebody give God a praise break in this place. I dare you to holler, Lord, I just thank you. I dare you to holler, Lord, I just thank you. Lord, I just thank you now. It is done already in Jesus' name. And I just want to give you some praise in the house. Because you're worthy to be praised. 
Somebody tell the Lord thank you. I said, somebody tell the Lord thank you. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house. Come on, somebody make some noise around the altar. And holler hallelujah in the house. In Jesus' name. And the people of God said amen. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to, to praise the Lord. Amen. And, and since I got up this morning and I was closed in my right mind and, and was able to get some food off the table, dress myself didn't have to have nobody to help and then made it to the house of God isn't this a isn't this a good place to give God some praise I said come on isn't this a good place to give God some praise bro Otis I didn't see a cloud in the sky this morning they let me know this is a good place to give God some praise. Any praisers in here this morning? Come on now, any praisers in the house? Amen. Don't y'all make me go by myself. I'll go, but don't y'all make me go by myself. I said any praisers in the house? If you're a praiser, come on and stand on your feet. Now, if you cute, you sit down. But if you're a praiser, come on and stand on your feet. Isn't he worthy to be praised? You know what God said? He said, I ain't never seen you wave your hand. He said, but didn't I do something for you? Didn't it just make good sense for all of us to wave our hands and tell God thank you? Amen. This could have, hey, listen, our bridge could have fell down. Our plane could have fell off the earth. Our car could have ran off the embankment. But thanks be to God that ours didn't run off. Amen. And we're not glorying the fact that somebody else did. We just thank God that the Lord kept us. In God a keeper. My in God a keeper. Amen. He'll keep you if you let him. And I don't know about you, Tony, but I want the Lord to keep me. I wish I had somebody here this Sunday morning. Come on, let's praise God for a few minutes. Come on, come on, Marquez. Let's praise the Lord for a few minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There it is. You, don't Hallelujah. miss your place to shout now. Don't miss Hallelujah. your place to shout. Hallelujah. Don't miss your place to give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. He's worthy. Can't let the rocks cry out in my place. You're worthy. You see, this is a song that you have. When you start praising God around the house, you just say, Lord, I love you. I love you. Anybody at Greater Lewis Street? I love him. Can just holler, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. You've been good to me, God. You've been good to me. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Come on, lift your hands. Lord, I love you. I dare you to really mean it. Lord, I Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Every heart over the building. Lord, Lord you're worthy. You woke us up this morning. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. I got to honor you right now, Lord. 
want you our glory. There's some people in the building. Lord, we love you. I hear y'all quiet. Lord, we love you. You woke us up this morning. Lord, we love you. Lord, we cherish you. Lord, we cherish you. We got something to put up before you. Lord, we cherish you. Lord, we cherish you. Lord, we cherish you. We got to do it, y'all. Lord, we cherish you. This time, lift your hands and tell him, Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. We really mean that, God. Lord, we love you. We sure enough mean it. Lord, we of your voice. Hallelujah. Every heart in the house. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your high name. It ought to be some thankful folk. Lord, we thank you. It didn't go the way I planned. Lord, we thank, we thank you. But the Lord stepped in. Lord, we thank you. One more time. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Every heart in the house. I got food in the house. Lord, we thank you. You can be seated if you can. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. You just ought to want to. Hallelujah. Just to fellowship with God a few minutes. It could have been the other way. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a hand. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Y'all give a big hand. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I just want y'all to know just truly how good God has been to me. In, in November, the, the Monday before Thanksgiving, I was extremely sick. Uh, called the ambulance. They took me to the hospital. And from that, um, my lungs were 78% full of fluid. My kidneys was compromised. My heart was compromised. They thought they was going to have to put me on the... Uh, incubator said if I had to wait 15 more minutes before going I wouldn't have survived but my daughter and grandbaby was there and they pushed and took care of me because they said the only thing I kept saying was help me Lord help me Lord help me Lord so I've been going back and forth to the doctors and on on Wednesday when I went to the heart doctor because I'm trying to get on the transplant list when I went to the heart doctor he said that my heart has did a complete U-turn. Um, that, that I don't have to go back. 
I don't have to go back and see him for six more months. You, He's going to write Thank the clearance Lord. letter. Yes, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. He's, he's, he's writing the clearance letter to send to the transplant people to say that I can be put on the list. So God is truly good and blessing me. So I am so thankful. Come on, y'all. Come on, we can do better than that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We went to see, we went to see Sister Linda. We yes, went to Lord. see Linda in the hospital. And she had tubes all over the place. But look at her now. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we thank God. Amen. You ought to be happy when somebody else get blessed. Y'all ain't hear me, you, amen. You ought to be glad when somebody else is blessed. Amen, you're not the only one that God blesses. So you ought to be glad when somebody else get delivered and blessed. And we thank God for Sister Ingram, amen. Praise God, come on choir, as we get ready to, and they gonna sing and then the Lord is going to let us hear what thus said the Lord, amen. Thank you, Jesus. song says, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, from the bottom, from the
St. Luke, again to Pastor Donald and to Pastor Earl Watson and to all of the officers here and the mothers at this great church, amen. And to each one of you, it's a blessing to be here one more time. God has a word and God has a people always for his word. St. Luke, the 15th chapter, beginning with verse 11. These are the words that we shall find. And it read, and he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with righteous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into the field to feed swines, and, would, and he would have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great ways off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it. And let us eat and be merry, for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And I want to talk about for a few minutes this morning. Give me a few minutes. Amen. There's no place like home. Amen. Glory to God. Tell somebody there's no place. There's no place like home. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord from whom all blessings flow. Amen. I've been to some places in the little time that God has allowed me to be here on the earth. And I've been to some of the best places. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God that I could be able to go somewhere. Amen. Uh, been to some of the best hotels. Amen. Slept in some of the finest uh, uh, posturepedic pillows and mattresses. Y'all here with me this morning. Amen. Uh, uh, flown to several places and seen the beauty of how God created this world. And I couldn't wait 
to get back home. Y'all with me this morning? Amen. Been to some of the best restaurants. Had some of the best servants to serve. Ate some of the best food. But I just could not wait to get back to the home. I wish I had somebody here this Sunday morning. Amen. What I've learned that there's no place like home. Y'all better hear me this morning. Amen. Home is, is a house is not a home. Amen. A house is not a home. I don't care how, how beautiful you have it laid out. And I don't care how much it cost. A house is not a home. Amen. Home is where your heart is. Amen, somebody. Y'all better hear me this morning. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful to God that I came up the way that I did. Anybody else in the house this morning? Amen. I thank God the way that I came up. Amen. Praise God. And now we try to give our children everything. Amen. I thank God that my Christmas present was a lawnmower because my daddy was teaching me how to go cut yards and make a living for myself. And he was teaching me, and even though I didn't understand it at the age of 10 years old, but I understand now, at the age that I am now, that what Father was teaching me was how to one day that I was going to be a man, and I needed to learn how to make a dollar for myself. Amen. Somebody ought to holler hallelujah in the house this morning. Amen. There's no place like home. Amen. So T and I have gone to some of the best places. And I said, honey, when, amen, how long we got to stay here? Amen. When the plane leave. Amen. Because I'm ready to go home. Amen. I'm ready. To, don't nobody bed sleep like my bed. Come on. I ain't in the house by myself. Amen. You can't go in everybody's refrigerator like you can at your house. Amen. Amen. Even when children come over to visit with you, amen, they can't run in and out your refrigerator like they can at their house. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. You can't get our remote control and just whiz through the TV like you can at your house. Amen. You need to learn how to ask, can I change the channel? Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost, in this place this morning. Amen. Is it all right for me to have a snack? My snacks ain't for everybody. Come on in the house. Amen. Amen. I wish I had a praying church here this Sunday morning. Amen. Those snacks that T and I got, those snacks for us. And if we just so uh, gracious to let you have a snack. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. You can't run. And my mama taught me that a long time ago. You can't go to everybody's house and run in and out their refrigerator. And my grandmother lived down the street. But my mama trained me at home. And my mother gave me house uh, home training at the house that when you go to somebody else's house, it's just nice for you to ask, may I have? Amen. Don't run in everybody else's refrigerator. Amen. Come on. I wish I had a praying church here this Sunday morning. Amen. Now, you can do that at home, but listen, there is no place like home. I wish I had somebody in the house this morning. Amen. If I want to take my shirt off and walk around the house with no shirt on, I'm at home. Amen. I can't come to your house and do that, but I ought to be able to do that at my house and don't nobody have anything to say. Amen. Somebody ought to tell the Lord thank you in the house this morning. Amen. There's no place like home, Great Lewis Street. Amen. You can't go around the corner and do things at other folk house and do things at everybody else's church. Amen. Great Lewis Street is made for Great Lewis Street. You can't go to Tabernacle and Union Grove and, and First Baptist Chelsea and do all of the stuff that they do at their house because that's their house. This is Union. This here is Great Lewis Street. Somebody shout glory to God. What goes on at Greater Lewis? I wish I had a praying church. Amen. What goes on here at this house got to stay here at this house because there's no place, David, like home. Somebody give God a shout of praise in the house. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Couldn't wait to get home. Amen. It's something about being at home. Amen. It's something about the love that goes on when you at home. Amen. Everybody ain't going to love you like those folk back at the house do. Amen. They know all of your hang-ups. They know that what you hung up on. They know the conditions that you have. They know that you are addict and some of us are alcoholic, but ain't no love like the love back at the house. Some 
somebody give God a shout of praise in the house this Sunday morning and tell God thank you in this house because there's no place like home. I wish I had two or three folk that could give God a praise break in the house and holler, Lord, I thank you for letting me get back home. Anybody here this Sunday morning? Amen. I'm trying to get home because home is where my possession lies. I'm trying to get home because home is where Jesus Christ is. I'm trying to make it home because the cares of this world are getting me down and I'm trying to make it home. God has given me my blueprint. God has given me my instruction and I'm on my way home. I wish I had somebody to holler in this place. I'm just a pilgrim passing through a of land on my way home and home is where the heart is somebody give God a break in the house and tell God thank you in this place amen thank you Holy Ghost there's no place there's no place like home amen am I preaching to anybody in the house this morning amen there's no place ain't no place like home amen people will tell you that they love you amen hallelujah People will tell you they got your back. Anybody here this Sunday morning? People will tell you that they'll give you their last dime. But get in trouble and you will find out how many friends you really got. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Look at the text and I'll leave you alone here this Sunday morning. Because there's no place. Ain't no place like home. Here in the text, y'all give me five minutes and then I'll leave you alone. Amen. And the younger of the two sons, listen to what the text said, asked his father. He said, Father, give me the portion that falleth to me. And I stopped to think this father. He never questioned his son. He just gave him what was due to him. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In other words, he wasn't trying to hold him. He knew that he wanted to get out and he wanted to live a life on his own. This younger of the two sons said, give me what falleth to me. Don't you know he had a little attitude? Amen. Don't you know that some folk children think we owe them something? I ain't got, I ain't got no help in the house. Amen. Some children feel like you owe them something. Amen. Y'all might as well say amen and shame the devil. Amen. I don't owe you anything. Amen. We got you into this world. I raised you up to make it on your own, and I don't owe you anything. Amen. And the fact of the matter is, you don't owe me anything but a sense of respect. That's all that you have that I owe you. Amen. You old enough now to fish for yourself. I've given you a fishing pole, and now it's time for you to go and fish for yourself. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He said, give me the portion that falleth unto me. And his father didn't ask him where he was going. His father didn't ask him how he was going to make it. His father didn't ask him what was he going to do. He just gave him his inheritance and sent him out the door. And here's what happened when he got outside of home. I wish I had somebody to hear me this morning. You see, when this young man got away from home, the Bible said that he lived lavishly and he lived righteous living. In other words, he parted all that he can party. Amen. He went around and he did everything outside of his training that he had back at the house. Amen. He went to the party and he went to the club and he bought a drink for everybody at the club. And he had plenty of money in his pocket. Are y'all here with me this Sunday morning? And while you got money, you got some friends. But I stopped by to tell you this morning, when your money runs out, your friends going to run out. Amen. When you can't buy a drink for everybody at the club no more. When you can't buy a setup for the folk that's at the party with you anymore. When your money runs out, your friends going to run out. When you can't smoke with those folk no more. And when you can't buy the thoughts that the things that you're smoking anymore. You will find out how many friends you really got. And the Bible said he wasted his substance on riotous living. And the Bible said that he got down to where he didn't have anything and don't you know that when you get out of the will of God when you get out of others cares up under the wing of Jesus Christ God will allow things to happen in your life to carry you down to the bottom of the barrel and then the only thing that you do is you now start to look up to Jesus Christ have I got any help in this place 
he discovered that I don't have any food to eat. I don't have any more money in my pocket. I'm going down here where the hogs is. I start to eat the food that they eat. And when the Bible told me that after he had lost everything, he came to himself. And I stopped by to tell somebody this morning that when you come to yourself, you will discover that I was better off when I was at home. Is there anybody here at Greater Lewis Street this Sunday morning that know what I'm talking about? That there's no place like home. I wish I had two or three folk that could give God a shout praise in the house and tell the Lord thank you this morning. And I've been all across the country, but there's no place like home. Is there any folk here at Greater Lewis Street this morning that don't mind standing up and giving God a praise in the house and holler in this place. I'm ready to go home now. I've been out here in the cares of the world and he's beating me up now, but I got a solution now. God has opened up a door for me and I can get back home. I wish I had two or three folk that could shout a shout glory in the house and tell the Lord thank you in the house. Any help at Greater Lewis Street. I wish I had some prayers in the house. Some folk that could shout thank you God for letting us get back home. Letting us get back to praising God. Let us get back to saying thank you Jesus. Let us get back to lifting our hand. Is there any box in the house? And though I've gone all over the land and the country, been outside of the United States, but I'm ready to get back home. And can I tell you something? The father saw his son and even though he had been down in the hall pen. He was standing afar off in the distance. He said that bring it me the fatted calf and bring me a robe uh, and kill me a fatted calf and put a ring on his finger because my son was dead and now he is alive forevermore. Is there any folk at Greater Lewis Street that don't mind praising God that can give God a shout praise in the house and tell somebody I'm glad to get back home I've been out of church for a long time, but there's no place like home. I wish I had two or three folk could give God another praise break in the house and tell the Lord thank you in the house. Well, I was looking at the Wizard of Oz and I saw something in the story about the Wizard of Oz. The Scarecrow, the Lion, and the uh, Tin Man. All of them were trying to get something from the Wizard. But I focused my attention in on Dorothy. And yes, she got Tia Toto with her. She got Uncle Ed and Aunt, Aunt at the house. She said that I got to get back home. And even though here's a little country girl from Kansas City and the tornado has swept down and fall, took her into a deep sleep and she was caught up in Oz but I got news for you this Sunday morning Dorothy said that even though uh, the scarecrow trying to get a brain and even though the tin man trying to get a heart and even though the lion is trying to get some courage but I'm trying to get back home is there anybody at Greater Lewis Street can give God a shout praise in the house and here's what I like about Dorothy. She had the solution to her problem because the text says uh, she clicked the heel three times and she decided if I can just click my heel I can get back home and I stop by to tell those that are looking at me this Sunday morning you got the remedy for getting back home. His name is Jesus Christ. Is there anybody at Greater Lewis Street don't mind praising God and tell somebody there's no place like home and Dorothy start to close her eyes and Dorothy start to get happy and Dorothy start to saying there's no place like home uh, there's no place like home there's no place like home uh, there's no place like home and when she woke up out of a sleep uh, she saw Uncle Ed sitting over there she saw Annie Ann sitting over there she saw a dog Toto sitting over there and she said Lord I know now that I'm back at home. Huh? Somebody give God a shout praise in the house. And tell the Lord thank you this morning. There's no, I wish you had somebody. I wish you could lean over and tell somebody. There's no place like home. 
I wish you would tell Holly in their ear and tell them you've been gone a while, but there's no place like home. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. And I'm trying to get home. Uh, I said, I'm trying to get home. Home is where my possession is. Uh, home is where my inheritance is. And I'm trying to get home. And can I tell you who's at home? His name is Jesus Christ. Uh, he's my elder brother. I'm trying to get home. Uh, anybody at Greater Lewis Street can shout, I'm trying to get home. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying to get back home. Uh, somebody shout glory in the house. And tell the Lord one more time, there's no place like home. Uh, if you've been gone for a while, there's no place like home. Those that are looking at me on Facebook Live, uh, there's no place like home. Somebody ought to shout glory in the house. I said somebody shout glory in the house. Can't nobody do you like the folk back at home. Uh, give God a shout praise. Somebody tell the Lord thank you in the house. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. There's no place. The doors of my father's house is open. The doors of our father's house is open. For those this morning. There's no place. Ain't no place like home. I don't care where you've been. We don't care where you're going, but there's no place. Ain't no place like home. Hallelujah. People ain't going to love you like they do back at the house. And if you've been gone, you ought to come home now. Those who are watching us this morning, by way of Facebook and YouTube, there's no place like home. You can have problems, but you can fix it at the house. There's no place. Do me like the Lord. Hallelujah. Do me like Jesus. Is there one this morning? The door's open. The door's open. Perhaps maybe there's somebody today. You just want to come home. Home is where Jesus is. Come on, you can come home this morning. I wouldn't stay out of the fellowship with Jesus Christ. I would come home. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Doors open. Is there one this morning? Well, perhaps there's somebody that just need prayer this morning. And you just need prayer. The Lord to just work on your behalf. If there's one this morning. Is there one this morning? Why don't you come? Hallelujah. We see that there's room. Amen. We see that there's room, but there's not. Amen. Give God a shout in the house this morning. Amen. There's no place. There's no place like home. And we're trying to get home. God has given us the blueprint on how to get home. And I, the father was so glad to receive him when he came back. He knew he had messed up. He knew he had gone out there into the world. But he left the door open for him to come home. And that's what Jesus did for us. He left the door open for us to come home. Because there is no place. I wish I had somebody here this morning. Amen. There's no place like home. Amen. Give God a shout of praise in the house. Wednesday night, 6.30 p.m. online, the book of Habakkuk. We will be studying the book of Habakkuk. Amen. Join us, men, tonight. At 7 o'clock, me and prayer and fellowship. 30 minutes, we are online. And we and then we're gone. And the Lord is blessing us every time we meet, one time a month. And the Lord has his way with us in prayer and fellowship. If all hearts and minds are clear, let us all stand. 
Amen. Praise God. Every head bowed. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that has gone forth on today. Now, God, we are ready to go home. And God, if we've been out of fellowship, work on our spirit to get us to come back home. The cares of this world has gotten us down. But God, you have opened the door for us to come back home. And home is not where my address is. Home is where you are. Now, God, we ask that you would bless us through this week. Keep us, deliver us, and set us free from hurt, harm, and danger. And the people of God said amen. Now, may the love of God, the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, sweet communion of the Holy Ghost, rest, rule, and abide with us. Henceforth, now, and forever. And all of the people of God said amen. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. 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 Can't nob